So today I'm going to be sharing what's on my iPad Pro. So first things first, my case is from Amazon. It was literally $9. I love this case. It is basically just one of those cases where the edge is completely free. Let's go ahead and see what's on my iPad. Okay, so this is my iPad Pro. It's actually just a photo from Gray Malin. So let's just go ahead and open it up. So the background has actually, I am busy. And if I rotate it, you'll be able to see more of what it says. I'm pretty much not gonna talk through every single app because a lot of these are pretty standard. So top row, calendar, clock, FaceTime, photos, camera reminders, contacts, maps, find mine, and then let's go to utilities. So all those apps, standard, I'm not gonna talk through them, but if we go to utilities, the iPad doesn't come with a calculator. <laughs> so you have to, download the calculator app separately. This isn't even Apple's calculator app. Next, I have weather. So this one is, once again, the iPad doesn't come with the weather app that Apple has on the iPhone, which is, I don't wanna say annoying, but it's just like, why? Next one, I have Adblock. This actually does not work. <laughs> Someone asked me in the comments um, if, you know, there's an Adblock app that they found that works for the iPad and this one does not work. All right, so next up we have books. So I actually, one of my use cases for the iPad was to um, read books. And as you can see, I am reading How to Win Friends and Influence People. Um, but yeah, this is the book I'm currently reading right now. I'm excited to read a lot more books um, with the Libby app. But if you're not familiar with Libby, it is actually a virtual or I guess digital library. So all I have to do is just connect your library card to the app and then you're literally able to have every single book that is in your library on your iPad. And then we have news. We have the New York Times app. I have a New York Times subscription with my work they give it to me free. And then I have Spotify. I haven't used Spotify on here. Okay, so before we go to the doc, let's do the next page because that'll be a little more interesting. So up here I have money. So I have a Wells Fargo bank account and Amex, and then I also use PayPal. Next we have finance. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I do occasionally make finance videos, but I do like finance, I like talking about finance, stocks, um, anything like that. So I just have Robinhood up here actually bookmarked. So if you watch my first impressions iPad Pro review, you'll know that so many apps that are on your iPhone aren't really available on your iPad. So an easy way to use those apps or even websites if they're not full scale apps on your iPad is just to bookmark it. So I just have Robinhood bookmarked on my uh, Safari here and it just takes me to my portfolio and it's pretty much just the desktop version of Robinhood on my iPad. Next, I have CNBC, once again, uh, something else for news, but this is, you know, stock related news. So next we have Seeking Alpha, which I actually haven't even, it, as you can see, I, I literally didn't even sign in yet, but I do have a subscription to Seeking Alpha. And then we have stocks, which, you know, it's standard. So the next one here is called TV, which, I mean, obviously it's it's pretty uh, self-explanatory is the word I'm looking for, but I clearly watch a lot of TV, but I have all of these apps, Netflix, Hulu, NBC, The CW, HBO Max, and MTV because I watch shows on them and it's just easier to have the apps downloaded. Up here, I have notes. So these are actually apps I haven't even used yet. How embarrassing is that? So I tried using Notion and then I, wanted to draw on it with my notes, like do handwritten notes, and you can't do that. Well, I looked it up on Google and then I got taken to a Reddit thread and it was like, yeah, you, you can't draw on um, Notion. So I was going to plan out this exact video, or I was gonna plan out the video that went up last week, the my everyday tech carry on here, and it I can't draw and I like to draw my notes, so I, I stopped using it. Up here we have Muse. So Muse is an app that I actually was um, looking for iPad apps. I saw a video from a tech YouTuber saying, you know, iPad apps that you need to have. So, and it was actually sponsored by Muse and I haven't used it yet. So that's a little embarrassing and I'm not going to set it up, but I think it was basically just kind of like a note taking like freeform app. And then same thing for Magnetic. Uh, it's actually a like list app. Once again, 
haven't used it yet. <laughs> I'm still using like reminders and I'm still using the Apple Notes app. I That thing is just like, I, I love it so much. All right, next up we have a folder called Google. So I pretty much use Google's entire suite of products for YouTube and actually just life in general. But I have the Sheets app, which I don't think I've even opened on here. Yeah, I have some things on here. Um, you know, if I open this up, this is apartments and it, it's in dark mode, but I'm a crazy person. I love using sheets and I'm going to be moving soon. So I quite literally planned out almost every single thing I need to buy to move. And I've made like a little list up here, but yeah, I love using Google Sheets. And then up here I have Docs. So this was my everyday tech carry. <laughs> you know, I plan out all my videos on, uh, on Google Docs. And then I also have the Gmail app, which I hate it. I literally hate the Gmail app. I will show you what I use instead, but I just, something about it just does not, it's not for me. So over here we have thumbnail. So I have Visco, Camera Connect, Fonto, Ibis Paint, and Facetune 2. So for Visco, this is just where I edit all my, uh, my, my thumbnail photos, really. Um, Camera Connect is actually what connects my Canon M50 to my iPad if I want to take photos and like look at what I'm looking at. Fonto is what I use to do all of my thumbnails and um, it's it's honestly, it's super basic and easy to use. I really like it. Added this text in here and then uh, that's actually it. That's all I did in here. So I just added text uh, for my thumbnails with Fonto. And then for Ibis Paint, uh, this is where I come in and do all my doodling. This is where I'll add in like the stars in my background. And I'll just kind of draw them in really quickly. And I used to do this on my phone. And I have no idea how I did that before. I don't know how my finger didn't cramp, but doing it on my iPad is so much easier. And the last thing here is Facetune. So I only <laughs> Facetune my thumbnails actually. Um, I will, you know, add brightness to things like this one. I think I made it a little brighter or something like that. Okay, and then next we have social media. Honestly, like if YouTube doesn't count as social media, Twitter is definitely my favorite app. People literally have no chill on here and it's hilarious. And I actually love the Twitter app. It is so good, so great. Um, you know, whoever designed this, 10 out of 10, it is just like the desktop or excuse me, the web experience. So I really love the Twitter app. And then over here I have shopping. So as you can see, I have two apps that say Amazon. So this first one is actually just a bookmark because I, once again, really despise the Amazon app. So if we go down here to my doc, I have messages, Safari, settings, YouTube, YouTube analytics, or no, YouTube studio, notes, and then this black icon, Google Drive, apps, and a white icon. But I'm gonna skip the first three, and I'm just gonna go straight to YouTube. So this, I, I'm addicted to YouTube for one. Um, and then for two, the the app is great. I love the YouTube app. I really wish I could get Adblock on the app. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Next, I have YouTube Analytics. So, I or this is actually YouTube Studio. Excuse me. So I do not like YouTube Studio. I it has so much potential to be better, and it's just ugh, it's not for me. It doesn't go as in detail as the actual analytics. Um, on the web version does, but yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty standard. So next I have notes, which we all know what that is. And then this black icon is actually my email. So I like the way the emails look in the, in Safari in the web version. So I just keep all my emails on Safari and then I just bookmark it because I really don't like any, like any of the apps there. Next, I have Google Drive. So this is, once again, I said I use Google to pretty much plan out all of my YouTube videos. Um, anything YouTube related is just with Google. And this white icon is da, 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 YouTube Analytics. So I use this to be able to see my analytics a lot more in depth. I love, love the analytics that YouTube gives you. It is amazing. And I really like the web version of it a lot more than the app. So I will just use the web version of it to go through my analytics. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Also subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And if you have any iPad app recommendations, literally anything, your favorite iPad app, let me know in the comments down below because I really want to download some and play around some on my iPad more aside from just watching mass amounts of TV and YouTube. But that is going to be it for today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Bye, guys.